There you are. On your feet. I know magical translocation can really upset the stomach. Just take a moment and get your bearings, all right? The Isle of Balfiera, home of Clan Berini. I apologize for the cramped accommodations. We pride ourselves on courtesy, but circumstances here have taken a turn for the bazaar. I needed to make sure you weren't a danger to yourself or others. You might not be so eager to escape once you hear what's going on. You arrive via a portal, along with a deatric beast called Shiazel. It seized control of our golems and unleashed them on the island. If I free you, will you help me stop Shiazel? Wise choice. Just give me a moment. There. That should unlock the door. When you're ready, follow me. There you are. Free as a spring cricket. I hope you intend to keep your word. We'll need each other out there. Of that I'm certain. The name's Norianwe, by the way, of Clan Dorini. Pleased to make your acquaintance. We're bound for a place called the Keyrite's Gallery. But first, I need to know you can defend yourself. Hurtling through the Orbis and falling flat on your ear left you a bit scattered. Find a weapon, and we'll work out the cobwebs. Fair. Of course. I can't promise total transparency, but I'll be as forthcoming as I can. The Keyrites Gallery is an ancient substructure of Balfiera Island, built long before my clan arrived. On account of all the doors, the gallery's full of ancient gates, each with some arcane connection to places in Tamriel and beyond. Once the gates came to life, rifts opened. You fell out of one of them. The Daedra, Shiazel, emerged from another. I cast an incantation of the steed, snatched you up, and fled as fast as my feet would carry me. I heard the Daedra cursing, followed by some kind of explosion, but I didn't look back. I hope the gallery is still standing. Nothing irresponsible, if that's what you're asking. I'm a member of Clan Dorini's intelligence guild, the Cinderil. More scholar than spy, I assure you. I was conducting some research in the gallery, then pop! You and that monster arrived. The gallery's always been a place of special interest for the guild, but we never quite cracked how it worked. Despite the dangers, this is our greatest breakthrough to date. The guild master will be ecstatic, provided we get it under control. Would it frustrate you to hear that I have no idea? We Dureni are cautious by nature, so the Isle of Bolfiera has many defenses. Magical stone guardians protect many of our sacred sites, but somehow this Daedra found a way to turn them against us. Ugh, do I have to? If I recall my studies correctly, I'd say it's a harvester, a huge serpentine creature that feeds on souls and magicka. If it finds a way to consume the energies of the gallery, we will be in very serious trouble.
Larger weapons like staves and great axes will take both hands to use. You can pair smaller weapons with a shield, or another weapon of that size. The choice is yours. I think that one suits you. If you change your mind, feel free to take any other weapon you want. Now, let's find a spot to practice. This is as good a place as any. Now, prepare yourself while well, I conjure up a dance partner. Let's begin. Quickly now, strike the construct. Well done! Well done. Now fast, top marks. Attack! Brilliant! Now do it again! Ready yourself! Quick! Strike while it's off balance! Rough strength that! Wand! Keep up the defense! Use your heaviest attack! That's the way! Well done! Block it, strike! Give it everything you've got! Now some foes will try to restrain you. Break free! Oh. You broke loose! Prepare yourself! Ha! <laughs> You're unstoppable! Again, make ready! You're every bit the warrior I thought you'd be! Now, again! Now press your advantage with a heavy attack! Expertly done! Swiftly now! Interrupt it! To blow. Again, hold its attack. When your enemy prepares an attack, strike. Interrupting their attack will set them off balance. Good, now destroy it. Well done. Come speak with me for a moment. With moves like that, the Daedra doesn't stand a chance. Yes, I'd say we're ready to set out. To reach the Keyride's gallery, we have to make it out of this ruin and across a wide field full of the golems I mentioned. With any luck, we'll be able to slip past them. 
But I'm not all that lucky, so I'm sorry in advance. Well, it begins with the door, the first of many. The only way to access the gallery is through a mysterious gateway. Once we pass through that initial door, we'll step into a huge vault. This is the part that worries me most. I believe Shiazel, the Daedric creature that's causing all this mischief, may have nested itself in there. So be prepared to fight. I can't say anything with certainty, but ridding the world of an otherworldly abomination can't hurt, right? Its influence might linger for a time, but the Golems should return to normal before too long. Hopefully. Let's be on our way. A word of warning, though.
one of the stray golems. We might want to sneak past it. Let's be on our way. A word of... Let's be on our way. A word of warning, though. Some of the golems may wander the halls ahead. There shouldn't be...
Almost there. Let's hurry. Right. The entrance to the Keyrides Gallery should be east of here. Let's set out.
The Keyrights Gallery is in here. Let's head inside. Well, this is upsetting. Jeffers' bones. The surge of magicka created by the portals you came through. Oh, it must have cracked this sky shard. Without a functioning sky shard, this gate remains locked, and there's no way for us to proceed. Damn! Unless you have a set of enchanting tools and a working knowledge of meteoric empowerment theory, no, there's nothing for it. We need to find a replacement. I saw one in a vault just south of here a few days ago, but it was flanked by one of the island's more powerful golems. Normally, I'd say we should search for another option, but given the circumstances, I think we have to risk it. Of course. Let's not tarry too long, though. Giant clusters of meteoric glass. They fall from Aetherius, charged with raw and very potent magicka. Mages use sky shards in all kinds of rituals and experiments. We Dureni use them as a power source. It's a monstrous sentinel called a gargoyle. I've never seen one fight, but by all accounts, they are far more powerful than the golems we face thus far. I don't know why, but... I don't know why, but... All right. Do you see that vault to the south? The sky shard is there. There it is! The Sky Shard! absorb the energy of that shard. Oh, incredible. Not quite what I intended, but we can work with this. Let's head back to the gate.
I'm afraid we've reached the really scary bit. The Daedric creature responsible for all these portals waits just beyond that gate. If you have any other preparations to make, make them now. Again, I'm just a scholar, but I'd encourage you to remember what we practiced before. Keep moving, strike true, and exploit any opening the creature gives you. There it is! Send it back to oblivion! did it! Hopefully the gallery wasn't too badly damaged. Follow me! idea it was concealing something like this. Let's get a closer look. Managed to unlock the gates. Their power comes from this arcane helix. Amazing. With the helix exposed, these gates can finally reopen. Perhaps not all of them at first, but enough to reach most of Tamriel. The question for you, I suppose, is where to first? Can you believe this? Just look around. With this arcane helix exposed, the chamber is positively crackling with magic. The Keyrite's gallery has come to life, and I finally think I know why. Because of you, matters in Tamriel are bleak. War rages in Cyrodiil. Daedric princes conspire. Dragons ride the winds of elsewhere. The Second Era needs a savior. I believe the gallery. Perhaps even the Adamantine Tower itself chose you. The Keyrite's gallery opened doors to every corner of Tamriel. Places I suspect that desperately need a hero's aid. This choice is yours to make, 
but wherever you choose to go, I'm sure adventure awaits. May the stars protect you. So, have you chosen where to go? What region of the world strikes your fancy? Not everyone gets to pass instantly from one side of Tamriel to another, you know. This is quite a gift. What, me? No, I've got work to do. The Cinderil will want every bit of this place searched and studied. Since I did the discovering, I'll probably end up leading the effort. Adventure abroad sounds all well and good, but my place is here. Well, fate's sort of a clumsy way to put it. No offense. Honestly, we may never know why you were chosen. But I believe there was intention here. Something, whether it be the stars, the gallery, or the tower itself, placed you here for a reason. Perhaps it followed you to prevent you from reaching your... Well, destiny sounds a bit too grandiose. Let's just say to stop you from reaching your potential. Then again, maybe the power of this place brought you here to stop Shiazel. Probably not, but what's a life without unanswered questions, right? <laughs> Boring, if you ask me. Ha! An elf can hope. Answering that question will probably keep me occupied for the next hundred years. Is the helix connected to the adamantine tower? How does it perceive distant corners of Tamriel? I may never understand it, but I'll do my best. It is a bit overwhelming, isn't it? The whole of Tamriel is stretched out before you. We could start with the political considerations. Three great alliances vie for control of Cyrodiil. Does the fate of the Pact, Covenant, or Dominion interest you? Excellent. You can visit Stros Mackay and Daggerfall Covenant territory, an island called Canarthi's Roost that the Aldmeri Dominion set its eyes on, or the Ebonheart Pact's domain. I don't blame you. Interprovincial intrigue is the basis of my whole profession, and even I find it tiresome after a while. I suppose that widens the map a bit. Well, as I said before, threats to Tamriel have grown like weeds practically everywhere. Would you prefer to spend time among my elven kin, the Khajiit of elsewhere, or men of the north and south? This door leads to the Telvani Peninsula in eastern Morrowind. The wizards of House Telvani are known for secrecy and intrigue. But a shadow looms over all of them. A shadow filled with emerald eyes. Cautious adventurer. Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition. Power. Greed. I've heard they formerly used the island to house the mentally unstable and magically insane. Some, most likely fanciful sources, say the entire geography of this place is made from the ashes of the ancient Dunma. I've never turned away the families of the dead before. If the rumors about illness are true... To a Telvanni master such as myself, everyone is a spy and a threat. In a place like this, you don't always need reason for betrayal. Every secret and all knowledge finds its way to apocrypha in time. I see already was and will ever be. In desperation, all things consume one another.
Fate needs you, Proxy. Fate has noticed your talent for altering destiny. Reality hangs in the balance, as does the future of Apocrypha and Nern. Hence I bring a message from Hermaeus Mora, the one who knows. Mora offers you a purpose, an aspiration dark and heavy. We are bound together by a common danger. Enemies of Hermaeus Mora threaten his realm of oblivion, and in so doing pose a threat to the mortal world as well. Therefore Mora sent me to meet you here, and secure your cooperation. Only a mortal proxy can deal with a threat and save both Apocrypha and Nern. The fates of both realms are linked, and you are the key to preserving reality. Without you, everything unravels. Help avert this disaster and Mora will reward you. The one who knows instructed me to give you this, a condensate of planar potentialities. It... Uh, you will not understand. It is ink. Take it to the Redrith Cistern, a ruin near the city. Pour the ink into the water, and your path will be made clear. Have you never heard of the Daedric Prince of Forbidden Knowledge? The Lord of Faith? The riddle unsolvable? Hmm. Hermaeus Mora knows everything. He is the wisest of the Daedra. Every secret and all knowledge finds its way to Apocrypha in time. I am astonished how little the mortals of our tiny world comprehend. Apocrypha is the realm of Hermaeus Mora, his home and seat of power. One of the countless realms that drift through oblivion. Please, do not ask me about Oblivion. They seem to be servants of other Daedric princes. Rivals to the one who knows. The threads of fate that converge in this region should reveal more. That is the hope, at least. And we are not dealing with just simple cultists. There are others. Someone sent the Dusksaber Company to seize relics belonging to Hermaeus Mora from their hiding places in Tamriel. Elite vampire mercenaries commonly employed by Telvanni mages. I expected the cultists. The Dusksabers were an unwelcome surprise. Glyphics. Think of them as crystallized memories. Condensations of notional... I explain too much. I managed to protect Mora's glyphics, with some help. But our adversaries once again move against us. I am Laramel, sometimes called the Wise, although that is not a sobriquet I care for. I seek to comprehend the emergent truths elicited by the... Um, never mind that. I am a scholar. A century ago, I struck a bargain with Hermaeus Mora. I do not worship him, if that is your question. The Prince of Knowledge is an ally and patron. Mora provides me with access to rare and esoteric lore. In return, I undertake various tasks for him. A mutually beneficial arrangement.
She just threw me out. What am I going to do? Please, I have no one else I can turn to. I need help. I worked as a servant in the towers of Teldreleth. Nathan, the son of Mistress Dreleth, is being kept prisoner there. At least, I think he must be. Nathan and I had plans to leave Teldreleth together. Someone must have found out because the day we planned to leave, I was dismissed from my position. Mistress Dreloff, or Suthiel, I suppose, pushed me out without a chance to see Nathan. If she's holding him against his will, he'll be in the isolation tower. The only access is through the lab in the caverns that run underneath. There's a key in the top floor of the main tower. Please, can you help me? I'll pay for your assistance. Thank the eight you came along. done well, and brought fate's chosen into my unrelenting gaze. All other outcomes are now excluded. From this moment, fate's ever-branching tree begins to grow again, and with it, new possibilities emerge. It concerns beginnings and endings, Secrets too dangerous to reveal, and the stability of the threads of fate. Hidden rivals threaten my realm, and thereby threaten all of reality. If they succeed, fate will unravel 
and doom both our worlds. I am the golden eye of fate and the keeper of whispers. Knowledge and memory are my domains. How this threat eludes me, I do not know. But you are the key to preserving Apocrypha. I have foreseen it. And in doing so, you shall save the mortal realm. Let Laramil guide you as she can perceive the threads of fate without undue mental anguish. They converge in three locations, places of revelation. Meet her in the Necron Bindery, in the mortal city of the same name. Now, let us seal our covenant. The three glyphics before you contain the concepts necessary to create a contract to bind us. I submit to this as a promise of cooperation. You may serve as my proxy without fear of harming your own interests. Now, take the glyphics. Combine them. Precious little, they are shadows that vanish under my scrutiny. Obscure figures that somehow hide from my gaze. It is disconcerting. Never have I been so blind. Every possible fate unfolds before me. They all lead to an event I thought erased from chance eons ago. If this course isn't altered, Apocrypha falls, reality unravels, and Nern is destroyed. This enemy eludes me, but you are my secret advantage. That is the reason fate chose you. Your instinctual ability to succeed no matter the obstacles placed before you, no matter the odds. Follow the threads I selected for Liramil. See where they lead. That is the key to saving both our realms. Do you know so little, mortal? Apocrypha is my domain. A plane of oblivion I have shaped to my needs. And this plane, the mortal realm, some refer to it as Nern. As for the connection, just know that if Apocrypha falls, Nern will cease to exist. The scholars and mystics of your world call me a Daedric Prince. What you see is only an aspect of my true self, for the mortal mind cannot contain the whole of me. This form suffices. Your mind must remain intact for you to be of use to fate. It is for your peace of mind, mortal. I offer to bind myself, to give you the power to constrain my actions, so that you may trust me. The contract also marks you as my proxy. That could prove beneficial in some places you must travel. Fate takes many paths, mortal. Find Laramel in Necron. 